Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review another portable smart car screen. This is the RC06A model from the Lamto company. It's a 10 inch HD touch screen that sits very nicely on the dashboard of the car and has the functions like the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, navigation, music and many more. You can find all the specifications in the description of this video or click on the product link below. This is an ideal solution for cars without a screen or for cars with a screen but without the CarPlay or the Android Auto function. Now let's first do the unboxing and then I will set this up in my car and test the different functions and features of this Lamto portable smart car screen. So keep watching guys. Alright friends, so now let's do the unboxing of this Lamto portable car screen. As you can see, it comes in a very nice box. You've got the image of the product, uh, the model RC06 mentioned there. It's a smart portable car screen. Um, you've got some more details on the box. Now let's open it. Alright, so this is the portable screen and we'll come back to this in a while. Let's check out the other contents of the box. So you get uh, the cigarette lighter adapter. This is for the power. Then you've got uh, the aux cable. That's the aux cable. Then you also have the two-sided tape to uh, connect the portable screen uh, on the dashboard. Uh, and then you've got some other uh, tools to, to connect the device in your car as well. Then, uh, so there are basically two options to connect this in your car. You can either set this up on the dashboard, so using the two-sided tape and the base, or you also have an option of connecting this with the windshield of the car. You, this is a suction cup mounting bracket. Here you connect the portable screen, this connects with windshield and uh, very nicely set this up in your car. So you've got two options in this uh, box. You can either connect it uh, with, the uh, with the windshield or uh, make it sit uh, on the dashboard of your car. Quick using guide and the, the QR code that takes you to the Facebook page. You also have the user manual an activation card for extended uh, 24 months uh, warranty. All right, now let's have a closer look at this uh, Lamto portable car screen. So this is a 10 inch uh, HD screen and uh, and it, it's a very nice layout. You know, I, I don't really like the ones which are squarish in design. Uh, you know, I, this is a very nice layout of the screen, a touch, touch screen, a wide touch screen. This is what uh, we see in most of the cars these days. The original system is actually a wide screen instead of a box kind of a screen. So that's, uh, that's quite nice. You've got uh, some of the details mentioned when you uh, connect this or install this in your car. Uh, it's very lightweight so what you get on top is the power button here All right looking at the back now this comes with built-in speakers so two powerful built-in speakers uh, and a mic as well now you can connect the the sound from this portable screen either use a portable or, or the inbuilt speaker for the sound or you can connect it through the aux cable or uh, through the fm transmission uh, to the car stereo uh, for sound so that's uh, quite nice now this bracket is already attached this is for the the dashboard mounting bracket so it sits very nicely on the uh, on the on the dashboard and I'll, I'll basically use that in my car but as I said earlier you also have the option of uh, connecting this with the windshield right so in terms of the connections you don't have uh, much you just have the aux cable this is the aux cable for audio and then this is a type C for power that's it so very simple connections as I said earlier it's not very heavy uh, quite nice uh, kind of a, a nice slimish design um, all right, so now let me take this out in my car, set it up on the dashboard and then switch it on and start testing the different functions and features of this Lamto portable smart car screen. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, uh, so I've set this up on the dashboard of my car. Uh, I'm not going to install this uh, properly in my car. I've, uh, I've got a screen already in my car. 
uh, so I don't really need to install this one. I'm just doing this for the test today. So it sits very nicely on the dashboard. Uh, you can get it uh, installed properly. You just need to go to a car accessory shop and uh, and get uh, the wiring done because uh, uh, the wiring to the cigarette adapter uh, needs a little bit of cleaning up. You know, it should not um, be uh, exposed in the car. You just need to make sure that it basically goes through the sides of the car uh, and uh, and directly into the cigarette lighter uh, but you can set it up very nicely on the dashboard or you can uh, connect this with the windshield uh, with the suction cup uh, mounting bracket that comes in the box uh, so this is uh, how it looks uh, it's a very nice 10 inch uh, HD screen this is uh, the main home page as soon as you switch it on it takes probably five seconds for the device to switch on and get to this main home page or the landing page uh, of, uh, of this device all right, so let me give you a very quick tour uh, of the layout and the different options available on this device. So on the left side, you've got the home option, uh, the brightness of the screen. You can set this up. Uh, you can increase the brightness if you want. And this is the max, I'm guessing. Yeah. And then you also have uh, the volume. Now, this device comes in with, uh, with very powerful built-in speakers, uh, as well as uh, two other ways to connect this with the sound of your car. So you can connect the sound from this device to the system of your car through the FM transmitter, or you can connect uh, aux cable. Uh, you the socket at the back you connect that and then connect it to the aux cable in your car and then uh, the sound from this device is then linked directly to the sound system of your car so three ways to um, get to the audio uh, coming out from this device uh, now then you've got the power button as well uh, now in the middle you've got five options this is the wireless apple carplay wireless android auto for android mobiles uh, you've got the fm transmitter this is how you connect the audio and and I'll show you how to do that and then you can also connect your uh, mobile with the Bluetooth uh, here uh, and then finally you've got the settings section now settings section is where you can set up a screensaver you've got multiple languages available on this as you can see, you've got quite a few of the languages available on this uh, device uh, then you've got uh, some other things like the factory reset and the then the software version um, but primarily you've got the wireless carplay and the wireless android auto these are the two main features of this device all right, so before I start testing the different applications like the wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto on this portable screen, uh, the first thing I would like to do is actually connect the audio from this device to the car sound system. So what I need to do is just simply click on FM transmitter. I'm using this method of uh, connecting it with my car, but you can uh, obviously connect this with the aux cable as well. Or if you want to just simply use the built-in speakers on this device, that's a, also a good idea. So, so the process is, and you can see all the steps mentioned on the right side, you just need to make sure that you match the frequency uh, from this uh, device uh, to the radio system and you can set any frequency just make sure that you pick up a frequency which does not have an existing station on it all right friends so i've picked up 106.3 uh, which matches the radio frequency on my car and then once you do that then you simply need to click on this fm transmitter switch on now the system is connected with this device so now any audio i play on the device will be uh, link to the sound system of my car and we will test that later on all right so the now the audio is connected now now let's start testing the wireless carplay and the wireless android auto so the first thing i would like to do is actually test wireless carplay and you can see all the different options and the instructions on how to connect this uh, available on the screen uh, but the process is very very simple you just uh, need to go to the bluetooth on your iphone and look for a new device uh, as T86200, right? There you go. So click on this device, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites, and then click use CarPlay. So that's it. This is a one-time setup, a process that takes probably five seconds. And as soon as you create this, this connection between your mobile and the device, it directly takes you to the home page of Apple CarPlay that looks like this. So very nice, very quick, uh, very simple. This is kind of a plug and play device and you need to connect uh, your mobile with the device just once. And then every time you switch on the car, it will automatically take you to the home page of Apple CarPlay that looks 
like this. Now, this this video is not about Apple CarPlay, so I will not be talking uh, about the functions and features of Apple CarPlay. So we can uh, very quickly do a few things. Um, hey Siri, call Ibster. Calling Ibster home. All right, so I'm calling my other phone. Here you go. So I can call the other phone, I can make calls. So you can use, um, you know, voice assistant on both uh, Apple CarPlay as well as the Android Auto system. And uh, as you noticed, the audio is now linked to the sound system of my car. Hey Siri, play some music. Playing all songs from Apple Music. All right, so you can listen to the music, which is uh, linked to my mobile on uh, Apple CarPlay. You can click on this and check it out. We can use the steering wheel control as well. Right. So this is uh, me using the steering wheel control to increase the volume. And uh, as you can see, the sound is connected with the system of my car. Hey Siri, take me to Dubai Mall. All right. So as you can see, navigation is also working. The screen is quite responsive as well. There you go. So Apple CarPlay seems to be working perfectly fine on this device. I think the last test I would like to do is actually see uh, if the device connects directly to Apple CarPlay when I switch it on. So what I will do is actually um, unplug the device and then plug it back in. And at the same time, I've got my stopwatch ready. I just want to see how long does it take uh, for this device to take us to the home page of Apple CarPlay, which is this. All right. So now let me unplug the device and then uh, plug it back in, start the timer. All right, so it takes about 22 seconds for the device to start and take us directly to the home page of Apple CarPlay, which is really nice. You know, uh, when I'm using this device, I don't want to click on any buttons. Uh, the device should directly take me to the home page of either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, depending on the mobile that is connected with the device. So very good results when it comes to Apple CarPlay. All right, friends, so now let's uh, try to connect the wireless Android Auto. Uh, so we need to click on the Android Auto icon and then you can see all the instructions are on the screen again. Uh, so basically you need to go to your uh, Android mobile. I've got my Samsung here, uh, open the Bluetooth and look for a new device as T86, the same name appearing on the screen. So click on this T86, pair the device, and that's it um, you know the the wireless android auto connection is a bit simpler than the carplay you just need to uh, click on one message and then as you can see it very quickly takes you to the home page of the wireless android auto platform that looks like this now this is the standard android auto platform um, and again i will not explain the functions and features of uh, android auto in this video but if you want to know more about it you can go and watch my other videos uh, so this is a landing page of uh, android auto you've got the navigation right in the middle you've got media on the right side and you have all these uh, shortcut icons appearing on the left side now you can click on this uh, navigation to get a full screen in fact you can click on this icon here to get full screen this is the maps icon and then you've got voice assistant ad as well just like we tested siri on iphone you can do the same on uh, on google uh, and then you've got uh, the phone calling um, you've got settings you can change the look and feel you can click on this split screen view uh, in fact you can go and click on these dots right at the bottom left that takes you to the full application view on this android auto so these are all the apps that are available for you on the android auto platform and again you can go to the settings and change the look and feel add a wallpaper and change the icons and so on but you have all these uh, available to you um, and you've got you know everything else you've got the calling as well uh, we can call my number so this is my iphone and we are getting a call on the iphone as you can see so very simple uh, connection to this device it's very easy one time uh, plug and play kind of a device um, you can uh, connect it once it's connected you can use music you can use um, 
uh, the navigation you can uh, call uh, you can do a lot of things you also have your calendar and the rest of the things uh, available to you on both android auto and and the wireless carplay so, so that's it friends this was a very quick review of this uh, lamto portable car screen um, i'm very impressed with this um, especially the speed of this device uh, you know it takes only 20 seconds for this device to start and take you to the home page of apple carplay or android auto uh, that's quite nice um, other than that you know we've checked a few of the functions of uh, carplay and android auto everything seems to be working quite nicely you can uh, very easily connect uh, the sound from this portable screen to the system of your car and that's again a one-time setup you don't need to do it again and again uh, but uh, all in all very impressive uh, this is an ideal uh, portable screen for people who do not have a screen in their car or if they have a screen in their car it's not a multimedia screen with the carplay function so highly recommend it for all those people and uh, if you like it if you want to get this device just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the official store where you can buy this very nice lamto portable carplay screen that's it guys thanks for watching the video